Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to the Legend Heroes Trails of the Sky the Third. Last time, Ida joined us, and we agreed to kind of take her around. But also, we have the liberal map, because here we are. So it's kind of neat, kind of cool that we get to uh, see this again. A little flashback there. Anyway, let's uh, go around and start talking to people. Yeah, she came in as like the little rich girl, and um, basically she wants to get escorted around town uh, by a bracer. So, Sherazard kind of is reluctantly doing it. <laughs> the client. <laughs> Does he want to know her name? <laughs> yeah, Sherazard isn't exactly the nicest person to Ina right now, but as we all know, they're really good friends in like today's day and age. So it's kind of cool to see, you know, how they first met and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can't take Ina along with you. Oh, okay. Well, it is kind of efficient, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's true. So, maybe you shouldn't be so gung-ho about doing all these monster requests whenever Kurt really wants you to, you know, help Ina out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh. Ina seems really, um, interested in Kurt and his strength. It's just kind of... I don't know. It looks like she's hiding something. Maybe it's just me. Oh. 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 Huh. Um, actually... <laughs> if you've seen me fight, then yeah, you should. If you can beat these guys quickly, I'm all about it. Oh. Kinda of true, yeah, why even bother? Oh, yeah, rules are rules. Oh, yeah, Sheriff sounds like anything but this job, anything please! Oh, huh. Oh, hey there. Um, no. Yeah, I mean, she's already done her work, now she has to escort this girl around town, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of odd. Hey there. Oh, huh, I wonder if we can actually buy anything. The answer to that is no. You can go to various shops, but you can't actually purchase anything. You don't have any Mira anyway, so don't even bother. Oh, really? Hey there. Oh. I'm not going to be talking to everybody twice in here. Um, if they say something important, then I will, but for the most part, no. And honestly, I just talk to them and, oh, what are these guys doing? Oh, you're the one who wants the tour. Quit telling me where to go. If you already know where it is, why are you telling me to go there? Like, you're the one who wants the tour, and she seems to know her way around the city quite well. It's kind of odd. Hey there. Oh. Oh. Maybe you should join us on our tour as well. Oh, huh. yeah, definitely. I've already... Oh, I've already talked to you guys. Let's see. Let's head on inside this, uh, horrible factory. Hey there. Oh, Tom. Tom and Zacharias. Oh. Really? <laughs> oh. Is Tom around here somewhere? Oh, hey, there he is. Oh. Oh, okay, well... No, my ornaments seem to be perfectly fine. I don't really need any repairs, but thanks for the offer, I guess. Let's see. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, really? Was that, like, the Ambassador Crenard? I think was his name? I'm pretty sure it was Crenard or something like that. Oh, I've already talked to you. Yeah. Um, too many people walking around, and I can't keep track of everybody all at once. Oh, hey there. Ooh. Okay. I would if I could actually purchase anything, but I can't. So, yeah, don't even bother. Oh. Yeah, probably shouldn't be in the back storeroom. Probably insurance regions or something like that, you know. Something may fall on a customer or something. Who knows? Should I go this way? Oh. Oh. Really? Really, lady? Who's giving the tour here? 
Come on! <laughs> she honestly really does seem to know her way around the city quite well when she's like telling Sherazard exactly where to go and exactly what to do. It's just kind of funny to me to go the wrong way just to hear her reprimand Sherazard and be like, uh, I know that I said I didn't know my way around this place, but by the way, you're not going the right way. You need to go over here and take a right over here and then go over here and then yeah, there you go. It's just funny. <laughs> Okay, so these guys just moved into the little house. That's cute. Well, what about over here to the castle? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> really? Ina even knows it would take us longer. Like, seriously? Like, how would you know that if you've never been here before? Maybe, what if Sherazard said it was a shortcut or something? I mean, come on. Oh. Huh. Yeah, well, that is kind of nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, um, that Hundred Days War, that's right. I don't think people forget about it, they just don't want to dwell on it. Anybody here? No, there's nothing! So let's get on out of here, and I think that that's- oh no, there's a house down here as well. Get in there! Uh, is there anybody home? Oh, these guys up here. Okay, yeah, didn't even see them there. Oh, well, of course it is! Why would it not be another peaceful day? What could possibly go wrong? Escorting this random strange girl around to do God knows what. Okay, so let's see. Before I head to the department store, let's go ahead and uh, look around out here. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. That's kind of nice. Hey there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have no... Nothing to do with this. Calvar Emissary. Oh, it's Anton and Ricky! Hey! Oh, it's good to see you guys again. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, we did see them at uh, Chloe's school and everything back in her incredibly long uh, flashback as well. And then here we have the arena, but we can't go inside of it, so don't bother. Oh, well that's good. We don't have to you know, escort the young child back around town or anything, like that could be yet another quest to do. Oh, the Aragonian embass Emissary. Huh. Yeah, I don't need to go there either. Hey there. Oh! Really? Huh. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey there. Oh! Oh! Yeah, and then I've already gone through and had an end slate dedicated to the History Museum the first time we were in Grand Cell, so I'm not going to look at any of the, um, you know, various artifacts or anything that's already here, because we've already done it, so yeah. Um, but I will just talk to the people, because the first time that we were here, there was nobody here, because it was, you know, that whole phantasm made-up thing back in Chapter 2. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, yeah, that is kind of cool, I must say. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a total history nerd. I really am. I'm, my major was in history, you know? When I first taught school, I taught history. Oh. Okay. Huh. This is another one of those black suit guys. We saw three of them earlier. And she doesn't seem to be, like, she doesn't seem to, you know, want to have anything to do with this black suit people. Oh, and who are you? I think that this is Dorothy. I think, 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 think that this is Dorothy. But I am not entirely sure. It's something with the hair, the freckles, the bow in her hair, all that kind of stuff. So that's really cute, like showing her back as a teenager or child or whatever it is that she is. Um, you know, it's a nice touch. Nice touch. Anybody over here? No, there's nobody. Okay, so let's head inside this store. I wonder what exactly she wants to buy. Eh, who knows. I mean, if I went to the big town or whatever, I'd want to go shopping too. Yeah, you know, buy some souvenirs or something. Recovery items? You need recovery items? Really? Did you have like a rough journey or something? Huh, that's kind of unusual, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> but it's such an easy job, just relax. 
Maybe you could buy something too. Oh, what book? Oh. Huh. Oh, what's the problem? What's going on? Huh? Oh, those black suit guys. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. There's something totally strange going on around here. Oh, an ice cream stall? Oh, you don't like sweet things? Who doesn't like sweet things? Everybody likes sweet things. Yeah, she's totally avoiding those uh, black suit guys. I wonder what the deal is. I wonder what Ina did, or what's the problem? Why these guys are after her? Huh, the plot thickens. Okay, so we need to go over to that ice cream stall where we saw little miniature Dorothy earlier, or, you know, I imagine it's Dorothy. But go on over here, and Dorothy has left, oddly enough. Oh, two ice cream cones, that's sweet. You know, Aunt Lace would like this mission. She likes ice cream, and she likes shopping, she likes cute things. But, yeah, Sherizard, not so much. <laughs> oh, just eat it, just enjoy it, wow. Not that big of a deal. 24 hours left, running out of time for what? What's going on here? Hmm, what are these guys doing? And what happens in 24 hours? Yeah. Um, we're just enjoying our ice cream. Oh, yeah, what do you want to ask? What's your deal? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I kind of would like to know that as well. You left something back in the hotel. Um, I guess so. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised that Sherizard even cares what she's up to. <laughs> you know, the way that she's being like, you know, I really can't stand this girl and all this, and now all of a sudden she's like, you know, hmm, what is she up to? Like, does Sherizard really give a shit what she's up to? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we don't exactly get to explore the northern block, but um, we do get to see the hotel, so we really only get to explore the eastern and the southern block, which is rather unfortunate, but eh, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, at least we get to explore. Yeah, what? I thought you left something in there. Hmm. Well, it is the castle. Wait, are you trying to like break into the castle or something? Why do you want to get to the castle? What's going on here? Well, that would be a good tourism spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, no! It's more of those black suit guys! Holy crap! Yikes! They spotted her now! What is- Whoa! A gun! Holy shit! Whoa! Yikes! Okay, so yeah, we have to protect all NPCs, which pretty much means protect Ina. Um, Sherizar does not have any kind of magic or anything else like that. She does have crafts, um, but yeah, so just attack and you'll be fine. Um, and you only have like one healing item too. So if those guys do attack you on harder difficulty levels, and you might have a problem, but honestly it's not the end of the world, it's really easy, and Ina just kind of runs around with the chicken, like, with her head cut off. Although, she can attack in battle. Really? You didn't notice the huge fight that we just had right in front of the hotel? Yeah, what is going on here? The army? Is the army after you? What the hell, lady? What's going on? Hmm... Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> Top to bottom. <laughs> oh god, I need to get my mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Whoa! Uh -oh. Yikes! Oh no! What is going on? Seriously, what is happening here? 
Whoa! Run away! Oh, why did that run? We can do that. Man, it took, you know, two shots to take out the one guy. We could possibly take out four of these guys. Well, where to? Oh. Uh oh! Wow! Damn, the whole town's like crawling with these people. Where do they all come from? And why are they after her? What in the world is going on? This is crazy. Holy shit! And like nobody else has noticed. Like, like you have all these people out on the street and nobody notices all these weird guys, like all these men in black running around with their guns and everything. Like, what the hell? You would think that like, you know, the royal army or the royal guards or somebody would be like, what in the world's going on here, you know? But, I guess not. Oh, well that's sneaky. Hey! Whoa! They probably would've been better off hiding among those boxes and everything in those crates. Oh! We're over a fence! Nobody could possibly find me here, because you can't actually go over the fence in a JRPG. Yeah, we're completely hidden. Seriously, what is going on? Why are they after you? Seriously? What's the deal? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, she doesn't really like you all that much anyway. No. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> Captain Obvious. Okay, very good place to start. Oh, well that's horrible. Oh, huh. Everything. Oh, wow. Well, that's awesome. So, what's the issue? Are these guys after you for your money or something? Oh, yeah. Wait, is your uncle trying to help you? Or is your uncle the one that's after you? Hmm. Yeah. Whoa. This doesn't seem like the best place to hide, to be quite honest with you. And how did they get from the landing port over here? They really probably should have just, like, jumped on one of those airliners or something and hightailed it out of here. Oh. And she can't formally inherit until she turns 20? Is that what it is? Maybe she turns 20 years old tomorrow, and that's why she was like, you know, I only have to wait 24 hours. But I mean, if they kill her, then I guess it does go to next to kin, which would be her uncle. I assume as much. Oh. Oh. Huh. Really? I wonder if she's like part of the aristocracy or something, and that's why she wanted to go into the castle. Maybe, uh, she, you know, has some connections in there. Maybe she knows the queen. Who knows? No kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's true. Kurt's in there. Kurt can kick their asses. Probably just one-shot them. Uh, I think we've been spotted. Oh, this isn't good. What? Feed the birds? What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, they're totally caught. Yikes! Too bad we can't uh, jump over the fence like normally in JRPGs like this, but no. Fences are impervious boundaries, of course. Oh, yeah. Yikes! Well, took them out. Not bad at all. Oh. Whoa, more of them? Holy shit! Whoa! Um, she has a whip, but then, you know, there's four guns pointed at her. I think that they could probably take her. Oh, uh, no, not really. Oh, the sewers! Oh, that's true. Oh, why? Well, what's gonna go on? What are you gonna do? Whoa! Yikes! Oh! Oh, cool. It's like a... Oh, okay. Smoke grenade. Oh, or it's like pepper spray. How is this 
smoke grenade getting in everybody's... <laughs> How is it getting in every of their eyes, but not getting into Ina's or Sherazard's eyes, you know? Just kind of interesting. They actually seemed closer to um, the canister than the men did. Just, you know, my little observation there. Yeah, no kidding. What is going on here? Eh, why not? Just knock them all out. Honestly, she probably should have. They would have made their escape to the sewers a little bit easier. What are you gonna do? Oh. Okay. She's a treasure hunter! She can pick all the locks! Well, is she really? I hope you relock it. Like, don't just let them chase you in there. Oh, hey, they're smart enough to actually lock the door! Wow! Who knew? Normally, JRPG heroes aren't all that smart. Oh. Oh. Yikes? Maybe you guys should be running into the sewers? Oh. <laughs> wow, too bad you can't use those in battle. That would actually really help us out. That'd be kind of nice. But she just kind of goes around and smacks him upside the head with her, um, purse, it seems. Kind of like a Final Fantasy Tactics. Those bags were actually pretty good in that game. Too bad they came so late game. I kind of like the guns, too. Christina, get me the axe! Whoa, they actually called her a bitch. Huh, who knew? Most of the time, these games never curse. I'm the one who's cursing all the time. <laughs> oh, that's true. I mean, you know, it was in the middle of a town. You know, kids or somebody could have gotten involved. Oh, yeah, it did help. I mean, you honestly, you had four guns pointed at your head, Sherizard. I mean, come on, she had to do something. They would have killed you and her in like two freaking seconds. Really? <laughs> wow. Oh, leave her alone. She's nice. Oh, yeah, that's true. But honestly, Sherizard, you didn't have any of the plans. You couldn't have gotten us out of this situation. How did you expect to, you know, clear out four guys with guns in their hands? That'd be no freaking way. All you had was a whip. I mean, come on. Well, what is it? What's the problem? Oh, yeah. I guess Sherizard hates sewer dungeons just as much as I do. I can't stand sewer dungeons. <laughs> what, is she, like, afraid of rats or something? Oh, yeah. They do have the axe. Okay. Can't possibly take care of any monsters, but can we conquer the sewer dungeon and lead Ina to safety? Find out next time as we play the Lindy Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.